Let's take you to Hong Kong now and talk to protester turned elected politician Janelle Luang. She took her seat by beating the incumbent pro Beijing councillor in her local district. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us, Janelle. What was your reaction when you heard about the new law? Um, this is no surprise that the Beijing's act of circumventing the Hong Kong legislature shows complete disrespect for the Hong Kong law. The announcement of the national security law is bringing an end to the one country, two system framework. So, I think the bit. So you believe, Hello? Janelle, that this is an end to the Hong Kong that you know, an end to uh, autonomy and freedom? Yeah. I think um, Beijing is intervening Hong Kong's freedom in different perspectives, like the excessive violence used by the police force to the states, suspension of the TV program that satires current affairs in Hong Kong. These, all these moves are forced to silence our voices. So what do you say to Carrie Lam, who just a few hours ago said that Hong Kong would remain free, but that national security has to be protected? I think it is the biggest joke that I heard today. I think the new law is going to kill all the democratic movement in Hong Kong. But the Hong Kongers will not scare off by the CCP. And we will keep fighting for our freedom and justice. So do you believe that young people particularly will come out and protest again against this new law? Absolutely. It is foreseeable that the new runs of protests in the street will spark in the, state, in the city, like the two millions of Hong Kongers took to the street last June. Janelle, how worried are you that the new law is also very open to interpretation, it seems, that it's quite ambiguous in its scope? I think um, it is quite uh, dangerous for, like, the advocates like um, Joshua Wan and all the um, protesters on the street because um, this law is uh, is tailor-made for those people that uh, not obey to the CCP. Janelle, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Janelle Luang joining us there thank from you. Hong Kong.